Hey dudes, so I wanted to uh, talk about the different kryptonite locks. Uh, here's my personal collection for my bikes. Uh, I'm just going to go through briefly the, um, the use for each level of kryptonite lock that I use. And uh, you guys can think about it before you spend your hard-earned money on these things. So here's the bottom of the barrel. There's actually smaller ones that you can get, but this is the smallest one that I have. It's the Evolution Series Kryptonite Lock. So this one I call my baby lock. So the, the uh, bar is hardened steel, as with all of them, uh, but it's only 14 millimeters. What's cool about Kryptonite, though, is that they have double bolt on each side. So even though this is only 14 millimeters, it's still hard to get into. But if they cut this, you're going to have to... Uh, also cut this side or at least try to pry this around because it's going to be locked on either side So that's amazing. So that's the baby lock. So what I use that one for is uh, Let's say you have a beater. So here's my steel frame Fixie beater that I use mostly in the winter now. It's not worth that much money honestly between that brook saddle and my Schwabe uh, studded tires Though that's probably twice what the rest of the bike costs. So it's not that uh, expensive. Uh, it has more sentimental value than anything, but that's my single speed beater. So I would use that 14 millimeter U lock for that purpose to lock that. I'd lock the frame to something and go through the front wheel because honestly, it has like a $150 studded tire on the front. That's what I would use that lock for, as well as a secondary lock for something like this. So this is more like 3,000. Four, uh, 4 thousand range. It's a fatty cycle. I'm working on a few of them So I would use this as a secondary lock the next step up uh, In my opinion and the best bang for your buck is just the kryptonite uh, New York lock So what's cool about this one? It's it's 16 millimeter has the same double bolt on each side so they can't just cut through one side and take off they're going to have to, again, cut through one side and then maybe pry this off and or cut both. And honestly, they're not going to do that. By the time, if you're smart about parking your bike in a place, by the time they cut through one, they're going to cause so much noise and so many sparks, they're not going to get through. So that's 16 millimeters. And then uh, this goes for maybe 150 bucks right now, Canadian. If you guys really don't mind spending the dollars, or if you have a big bike, something that's really expensive, I would go with the forget about it lock. This thing is such a beast. Honestly, weights and uh, kettlebells are hard to find these days. You could literally buy one of these and use it for like some bicep curls or something. This thing is crazy. Um, so this is 18 millimeters. Honestly, I don't think they'll ever get through this bad boy without like somebody calling the cops on them. So I'll just go through the weights. So I've got my little scale here. So if you're not too worried about security and you just want something light, this is about three pounds. I'm not sure if you can see that. So three pounds. The just standard New York lock with a 16 millimeter bar. That'll set you at close to four and a half pounds. That's getting there. That's already quite unwieldy in the field. And this bad boy is going up on six pounds. So you can totally tell the difference. When you lock this to your bike, when you're traveling or you throw it in your backpack, you really feel that weight. So I would suggest locking it to your frame down low to keep your center of mass really low. So again, I would use this one. I would highly recommend this, the New York lock. So I always have a spare just in case I buy a new bike. Um, or I should say, when I buy a new bike. <laughs> if you're like me, you're a bit addicted. Yeah, and if you really uh, don't mind spending maybe a couple hundred bucks, I would get the forget about it New York lock. It's such a beast. And then I would also have a secondary lock, such as the lightweight, what was that, three and a half pounds, I think we said. The kryptonite, just the evolution. So I think it's like 70 bucks right now, $60 Canadian, uh, as a secondary lock. Maybe even if you have a road bike to um, do your standard front frame wheel lock and then uh, rear frame to rear wheel with this. 
Um, I also use uh, bike trailers for uh, a business that I run. So I would use this to, to cafe lock the wheels of my trailer while these attach my bike to something and or just a cafe lock. These are huge. And what's amazing about the long U on the New York series, either just the New York or the forget about it, is you can go right through the rear tire, through the frame to a sign post or a bar uh, or a, a bike locking station with these. That's how long these bad boys is, are. It's amazing. So this one, not so much. You're not going to be able to do that. But with these, that's the advantage. But again, you're carrying around extra weight. So if you're going on a, a biking tour or a bike trip for the day, I would just suggest using your Kryptonite Evolution and just keeping an eye on your bike. So that's it. Those are the Kryptonite uh, series that I use. Those are my favorites that I've used over the years. And I always have uh, one or two in the wings ready to go for a new bike so I can be ready to keep it safe.